year we're celebrating FOAM's 10th anniversary and the whole year we're looking uh, towards the future with the question what's next and uh, we thought it would be nice to make one exhibition with a theme based on the history of FOAM and we came up with the exhibition uh, in 2001. We opened the first exhibition of FOAM with a um, Dutch uh, theme, the Dutch light and it was a group show with Dutch photographers curated by Eric Kessels. Uh, so now, 10 years later, we thought it would be nice to do again a group show with only Dutch photographers. So I went to, to do a lot of uh, studio visits and I realized that even though these 24 artists all have different uh, ways of working, of course, uh, they are all still uh, working in the studio and building up things we call uh, still lives. What's interesting about that is that the still life also is a typical Dutch classical theme. Uh, in the 17th century, the Dutch and the Flemish painters were known as, as the, most, um, the best still life painters of the world. And I found it very interesting to take again this typical Dutch uh, theme and to show that even in photography, where still life has been uh, an, a, a subject since the last 25 years, I guess, but still today, in the new developments within photography with the younger generations, is still a very interesting place where they experiment in their studio. Because what's happening is you have nothing to do with the, like the documentary photography, which is of course a very known or still very popular genre as well. But here you find the photographer alone in their studio, really creating with uh, normal objects or even not very interesting objects like for example a potato and concentrating completely on the formal and, and aesthetic uh, qualities or experimenting with all sorts of different uh, subject matters with different sort of materials and also with different sort of medias. So the theme along all these photographers is the fact that they experiment in their studio. These people are really all non-documentary photographers in the sense that they uh, don't rely on reality to build up their image, but they're really more like image makers, using all different materials and focusing on uh, aesthetics, on formal aspects, on working with different sorts of mediums, and uh, actually also looking for the boundaries of photography in that sense. Because in this exhibition you will find photographers working with video, with film, with uh, installation art, with painting. Um, and that's also a trend that uh, I think it all starts in the studio, that sort of experiment. Mm -hmm. 